Hey guys, Murgle here. I know I told you I'd be making videos daily and it's gonna happen starting today. I apologize for this late review. Or this late video. Just because, you know, dang, I just was so busy with all this kinds of stuff when I came, so it's all done now. Sorts situated and all kinds of stuff's good to go. We're ready for videos. But um I'd like to start off with how accurate was my prediction video. I mean, come on, like I made that I don't know, a couple weeks or maybe a month or two ago, and I'm going to put that link right here on the front of the screen so you could see it and go look at that video, but pff, we were spot on. The only thing we need to find out now is Khadgar is Medivh in disguise, and then we're like 100% accurate. But anyways, aside from that, I wanted to like summarize the features that they were talking about, because I, I looked into all the stuff, and... And if you haven't seen it all and you don't want to watch an hour and a half of it, I'll try and summarize it really fast for you. So, every class with each spec is going to have their own weapon. It's called Artifact Weapon. Retribution Paladins are going to have Ashbringer. So, that's cool for Retribution Paladins. They're getting one of the best, awesome weapons ever. And, of course, with every class having the same weapon, you don't want them all to look the same, so you've got like things you can unlock to um, essentially make your weapon look unique. So you're not always stuck with the same old weapon that everybody else has. You want to at least have the Ashbringer, but make it look different at the same time. Um, another cool one they talked about is F Frostmorn. You're going to take the Shards of Frostmorn as a uh, Frost Death Knight, and you're going to reforge those shards and make dual wielding weapons which looked very awesome too and then of course they're gonna have a, that and you unlock the new looks of your weapon through a bunch of varying different things like each new look takes a certain task probably mythic raids are gonna unlock a certain look on your weapon so you'll know that person's a mythic raider by the way their weapon looks and then of course there's pvp ones you have to unlock certain pvp things now they're changing the honor system too into a prestiging style of system. So you're gonna have your normal uh, honor dealio. Let me look, find the honor thing. So this is gonna like go away completely and they're replacing it with a new thing. You level up your honor similar to like a combination of the first and second honor system. So the first honor system was you got a rank after so many honorable kills and stuff and all that good stuff. Well this one you gain ranks through a number of honoring stuff and you unlock abilities and spells and stuff that change your current spells to fit more of a PvP style which is really cool so you're you're gonna have replacement spells like it's gonna be a tab and you unlock new spells with your honor unlocking new levels and then once you hit level 50 you have everything unlocked but if you want to unlock different versions of the, your artifact weapon you have to prestige, which prestiging changes this little icon with each level of prestige becomes different. So you're going to have all those cool uh, different unlocked levels with each prestige. And this changes slightly ever over time, which also after you get to like the max level, you get a special looking version of your artifact weapon. So people will have known that you did a lot of PvP if you have this version of your artifact weapon. And I'll tell you, the PvP ones are, in my opinion, the coolest looking ones. So if you're not a PvPer, you're probably going to want to be to get those cool versions of your artifact weapon. Now, another thing is, of course, we're getting a new uh, class called Demon Hunter. And as you know, Illidan is basically the idea of what a Demon Hunter looks like. So... I'm rolling Demon Hunter because they showed some of the abilities of Demon Hunter and uh, not only that they look absolutely awesome they can do DPS and tank they only have two specs they're not gonna have three because I mean as they said in the presentation a healing Demon Hunter sounds ridiculous so there's only DPS and tank and um, they of course are a melee DPS and they'll have metamorphosis which makes them do more damage similar to like a style of metamorphosis on a uh, warlock and really cool uh, I'm definitely rolling a demon hunter the first day it comes out 
and I will be streaming on that day. I'll mention it a lot further when they announce the expansion date and stuff, but I'm going to stream until I hit a level 110. I don't know what level Demon Hunter starts at, but they said really high, so I'm assuming the level 80 to 90 area is where they're going to be. But I'll start streaming then, and, and I'll do it that day. That'll be fun. And I'll stream until my Demon Hunter's 110, so we'll see what happens. But anyways, Demon Hunter looks awesome. If you like PvP, like most classes, they're always overpowered when they're first released. So uh, Demon Hunter, by the abilities, seems crazily overpowered. One of their special abilities is they can see people through walls and while they're invisible or stealth. So any stealthing class is already screwed if the Demon Hunter's on the enemy team because Feral Druid, you can't stealth. That kind of screws you over for your opening. And then a um, Rogues, of course, can't stealth. Screws you open for the opening. So They're going to be really fun for PvP. And they could also tank, so I'd love to see what kind of tanks they are. But their abilities look really cool. And one of the coolest things they can do is they can actually double jump. So when they do a normal jump, like, you know, this, they can actually jump a second time till a higher height, like up here. It's pretty awesome. I imagine that's going to be OP in Raid of Battlegrounds because, you know, you can probably hop to the second level in, like, Warsung Gulch or something. Just jump right up there. I don't know if it's high enough to do that, but we'll see when they release. Can't wait to see that. And finally, like, the biggest update, too, that they talked about was class halls, which is a specific area for each class. Like, a paladin gets a, a special hall for all paladins, horde and alliance, that is under underneath Light's Hold in Stormwind. I don't know how you access your your class area because that seems strange for a horde to be able to go under Stormwind. I don't know. And then Warlock ones is like on the other side of a demon portal in a fell corrupted area. Pretty crazy stuff. But that sounds really cool too. And for Garrison. Now these aren't specifically taking the Garrison but they are too. And the way they're changing it sounds like it's definitely for the better. They're going to have a similar mission style system where you send followers over, but you're going to only have a few followers, they said. And the way it works is you'll send your follower to an area, and um, on the mission they unlock maybe a cave or something. And then you actually go explore that cave. So it may be a rare mission to unlock that cave, and then you go explore it, and there's stuff in the cave for you and along that lines. So it's not going to be like you just sit in your garrison 24-7 and send them on missions to get gold. You send them out to do something, and then you actually go do the thing with them. Or you send them to an area, and it gives you benefits while you're in that area. Things like that. So I hope it's not like what we had before, because I don't really like the garrison. But I'm really excited. I, I, I loved it. It's got... Their hype crew is amazing, because definitely the hype is real. And of course, we're getting Illidan back. Illidan was awesome. And uh, he's he's going to return. So, definitely cool stuff. Um, if you haven't looked at it, the entire 1 hour, 20 minute dealio is on the Battle.net page when you open it. It's that thing you click, it'll send you to it, and you can watch the whole video. Where they go into more detail, I was just trying to summarize it really fast for you. And like I said, I apologize again for my failure to upload videos. I just had a lot of stuff to get done. But yeah, definitely hype for the expansion. And if you've not seen my video about the uh, prediction for the expansion, like I said, I'll put another thing right here in the center of the screen. You can click on it. It'll send you there. I just want you to look... I'm not trying to brag or anything, it just it seemed really funny how close we got. I even put the in the uh, my broadcast thing, I was like, oh, did a Blizzard employee watch my video and decide to make an expansion about it? <laughs> so, I mean, it's just a joke. I think it's funny. The only thing we need to get right to be 100% accurate is that Khadgar is medieval in disguise. Like I said, if that, if that happens, then bam, we hit it on the nail on the head. But yeah, it's really cool. Anyways, um, as I said, stay tuned. We're going to have all kinds of different games showing up. I want to try H Mythology tomorrow. And then 
I'm also going to share with you a game that I've played for many years. And it's been taking my time up now because, I don't know, I got back into it. Uh, it's called RuneScape. If any of you ever played RuneScape, I love RuneScape. And I'll sh tell you a little more about that tomorrow, too. So, um, thank you as always for watching. If you like my videos, hit that like button, because that really does help me. And, um, as always, have fun gaming, because gaming's awesome. I don't know. I never know how to end my videos. See you later, guys. Everyone, if you want to support Murgle Wow, please just like, share, and subscribe to my videos, and I will talk to you again soon.